Hello friends, Kara Plichinich here to inspire and empower you with another Photoshop tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to create fail-proof color themes for all your projects. If you're new here, I help creatives up their game with inspiration and know-how on everything from Photoshop to InDesign and crochet to Cricut. You can grab my free creative toolkit for Photoshop at karaplichinich.com. And if you like this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up and hit subscribe so I can keep them coming for you. For years and years and years, my favorite way to come up with color themes within Photoshop was to come up to the window menu and choose extensions. And then there used to be something here called Adobe Color Themes. Now it's just missing. What has happened to it? Well, never fear, it has simply moved to the internet. So if you go to color.adobe.com, you will land here and there are several ways to come up with exciting color themes. At the top here, we see four tabs, Create, Explore, Trends, and Library. So we're gonna be in the Create tab. And over here on the left, there are several different ways to create new color themes. First is the color wheel. Now this works by just dragging these sliders around and you can see that the colors change down below, but you can choose different rules to apply to this color wheel and how the colors come about. So for example, if you wanted a monochromatic color scheme, then you could select that. And then as you drag this around, you are seeing a monochromatic theme down below. So number of different options here. Another thing that you can do is choose extract theme. Here you can upload an image and the website will spit out a color theme for you based on that image. Pretty cool. You can also extract a gradient from an image. There are some really cool accessibility tools to help you make sure that whatever you are creating is as accessible to everyone as it can be. But perhaps my favorite way to pick colors is to click the Explore tab. And here you can see other color themes that people have created. So if you find something here, you can use that. But even better is that you can come up into the search bar and I could type desert, for example, and then it is going to give me a bunch of color themes based on either photos of deserts or based on color themes that someone has created and tagged or labeled as desert. So you can see there are a lot of options here. So let's say that I'm drawn to this color theme right here and I want to get it into Photoshop. So I have several options. I can download a JPEG of this, which would literally just be a JPEG with these stripes on it. And I could use the eyedropper tool to sample that and um, work with it that way. I could also add this to my library. So if you don't know what libraries are, they're basically a cloud-based storage place where you can put stuff and then it's accessible to you in all of the Adobe applications. So let me show you how this works. I'm gonna go up to the top here and this is showing me my default library. So I have several libraries. My default one is called Adobe Max. And if I wanna create a new one, I'm gonna click this plus right here and I'm gonna type in desert scene. All right, so now that that is my active library, if I come back down here to this image and I choose add to library, it is going to add this to my desert scene library. And I'll show you how to access that in Photoshop in a minute. Another option is to click on that image. That will bring us into this workspace where now we have a lot of options. So we can see the um, hex codes right here. You can actually just click to copy this hex code if that's what you're looking for. But we can also download this as an Adobe Swatch Exchange file. So I'm gonna click to do that as well. Okay, so let me show you how you use this then. So here we are back in Photoshop and I have this grayscale vector design. So honestly, the way that I do it these days is I use my libraries. So if you've never opened your libraries, 
You're going to want to come up to Window and choose Libraries. And here you can access all your different libraries. So the one that I just created was called Desert Scenes. So when I click on that, look at that. The color swatch magically appears. The whole theme magically appears here in Photoshop and it's ready for us to use. If we want to, let's say, make this background layer red, I can highlight this layer in my layers panel. And if I come over here and I right click or control click on that red color, I can choose apply color overlay and it will just apply as a layer style that color to my layer. Now this is a pixel based layer right here, right? It's just a layer with a, a fill. So this is how Photoshop applies color in that case. This layer is a vector shape that I made using the ellipse tool. So with a vector shape, it's even easier because all I have to do is click on the color that I want applied. So I can just click this yellow right here and it will apply it to the circle. Same with the, the other shapes here. So I can click this cactus shape. Maybe we'll make that brown and this shape, this darker color and the little <laughs> sprinkles. I think technically Photoshop calls this grass. These are all default shapes that are within Photoshop somewhere. All right, so that is one way to do all of this. The other way to work with the color themes is to go to Window and open Swatches. So this is the Swatches panel that you might be more familiar with. And then we're just gonna go to the panel menu and choose import swatches, navigate to wherever it is that we downloaded that .ase file, that's Adobe Swatch Exchange, and then click open. And then you'll see that Photoshop puts it in our swatches panel with this long name, so we can rename this. So I'm right clicking um, or control clicking on it and saying rename, and I'm just gonna call it desert. And then we can see the swatches below. So then you can just work with these like any other color swatch in Photoshop. So there you have it, a quick and pretty fail safe way to create new color themes for all your creations. Thanks for watching. Go grab your free Photoshop creative toolkit at karaplichinich.com and hit subscribe and I will see you next time.